Hi sir, as a part of IPRO project, we want to listen your opinion on biodiversity. Sure, shall, shall we start? Yeah. So, what is your opinion on biodiversity and uh, sustainability? Yeah. See, first let us understand the term. Because you are working with biodiversity, you should know what is the bio and diversity. Bio actually is a life and diversity is the presence of a variety of species of each category of life on this earth. So, by sustainability we mean that that present existing varieties of species should also exist in future. So, if they live and continue their generations, even after uh, so many years or till uh, the earth continues, so that is called sustainable. Like just sustainability means the presence or existence or continuation of life is the sustainability in with respect to the biodiversity is concerned. Okay. So what are the implications of losing biodiversity? Yeah, losing the biodiversity is will have a devastating, horrible and unimaginable consequences for entire not only for humanity and for every every living species because we are not alone on this earth we are interdependent if if there are just if there are no honey bees there is no pollination so if there are no earthworms there is no fertility these are basic things which you know if there are no birds the population of the insects will increase and it they will spoil the fields and everything if there are no snakes and the variety of snakes if there are no snakes the population of rats will increase and it they'll destroy the crops if there are no tigers the herbivorous animals will increase and they cause a lot of damage to the plants so we are interdependent losing diversity of uh, anything is dangerous and this diversity if you understand the different categories broad categories of biodiversity you can say that is avl fauna it's which is birds you see you feel very pleasant when a, uh, when you when a bird sings so this is a natural background music that is given free of cost to everybody by nature right it actually it is proven that the listening to the birds sounds or looking at the animals like uh, elephant or cow these will actually recover patients who are suffering from depression also so the diversity that's avl avl biodiversity is considered marine biodiversity you'll have a lot of uh, fishes crocodiles tortoise uh, innumerable species which are uh, there in the underwater and on the earth you have a lot of animals even in specific animal you will have different let's say cows in in andhra pradesh which we are you are all studying here so ongol cows are famous these days you might have seen punganur cows which are short in and when you go to gujarat there are gir cows which are popular sometimes the biodiversity also evolves based on the climatic condition and the soil and everything evolves it is a genetic heritage that is given to this you asked what is the peril or dangers of losing biodiversity i told once once the biodiversity is lost you cannot get it back because to have a uh, to have a next generation you should have a parent and the parent itself is ceases then the biodiversity is lost forever so what if what if biodiversity is lost see there is each species has its own beauty even in rice i, I told uh, earlier we used to have i heard more than 10000 maybe approximately 1 lakh different varieties of rice used to exist nowadays this hybridization and in the name of in the pursuit of getting more yield people are cultivating specific uh, hybrid varieties but earlier it was not there see 
not the case because the nature gifts with unique qualities and also the flavors are unique suppose and i am talking about rice i heard that there used to be a kind of rice which used to be given to pregnant women during the later stages of their uh, pregnancy period so in the ninth month they used to feed her with a specific variety of rice which enables her to give a effortless normal delivery without any complication so similarly there was one kind of rice which is called navara even that species is exist to uh, today world there are some farmers which are who are growing that has uh, ability to control the blood sugar and other long term problems ailments like knee pains or thyroid this kind so that navara rice there is another variety that is kulakar rice which uh, just upon soaking 80% of it get cooked and effortlessly you can cook that rice and similarly there are specific varieties of rice which are drought resistant which are flood resistant nowadays farmers are losing crop even with a mediocre heavy rain mediocre to heavy rain but earlier there were rich varieties of rice which grow up to 8 to 10 tall and they may have little longer period for getting the yield but they were flood resistant and drought resistant that uh, it was tamil name it is uli 